Hello out there, my name is Kraken and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get a WebM file from something that you've made in DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, this is just on how to get it, how to get the export and how to actually get the file. So I'm going to assume that you've already made something that you, you want. Now, in this case, this is my follow alert for for twitch so what you that what i want to do uh or what you potentially want to do is that the file name in the end for this needs to be or it doesn't need to be but it should be untitled and as we go into uh to get the the, the files um get the export what we want to do is that we want to have a folder where everything should be Inside of that folder, we want something called images. And inside this images folder is where we're going to export to. And you'll see why later. Um, now, we want that to be individual files because we want transparency, most likely, or at least I do in this. Uh, want the format to be TIFF, which is all the way at the bottom, uh, RGB 8. You can also put it as any of the RGBs. Uh, I've had some problems with the compression ones, but as long as it's the RGBs, it should be uh, just fine. Rendered source resolution, I have ticked off, or I, I've ticked on, should, um, I should probably say, because this one is in 700-300. The reason uh, I have it ticked on is because I don't want it to go into 1080p because that might leave a lot of of space, uh, of empty space. Then export alpha pre-multiplied applied or straight. Uh, doesn't seem like that does, uh, makes much of a difference. Uh, so I want to add that to the render queue. Uh, now, if you have audio, now you can skip this step if you don't have audio, but if you do have audio, what you want to do is go into the audio only uh, just to have or I like to go into the audio only. I, I'm pretty sure you can do it under the custom as well, but I like to go into audio only just so that I know where I am. Um, and you want to do it as a single clip, audio, and then we want to do the wave and uh, linear PCM, uh, the bit depth. I have not had that much fun with, uh, so you could probably do either one of the uh, bit depth. Now, very important, the render one audio track per channel we don't want that. It's a big no-no because since the audio I have down here is a stereo, that means that it would export them as two different um, files, like left and right. I don't want that. We want it to be one file, uh, output track, main, one, stereo. Uh, and that is the track that we're, we're doing right here. Uh, you can also say time-like track or all time-like tracks if you have more than just one. But I only have one, so that's fine. So add to render queue. I'm not sure why it gives me this error because right now we're exporting audio, not video. So I'm just going to click add because it doesn't seem to change anything. Uh, but I will start the render. So first of all, we get our video and then we get our audio. Boom. So now that's good. So what we can now do is that we go into our folder, our images folder, as you can see, and then we have everything in here. So what we then want to do is that we want to get a hold of these two, or at least one of these. So if you don't have any audio, what you want to do is use this one. If you do have audio, you want to use this one, which is evident by the names, I do feel like. Now, these files look like this. Uh, you have the frame rate which is in my case right here is 24 frames per second. So you can change this to, to 60 or, or whatever uh, you have it set to. Um, and then uh, we have the file name, which is, is um, defined by, by this. And because DaVinci Resolve likes to put a bunch of zeros uh, after their, their file names, so we have uh, and they specifically eight zeros or eight. Uh, numbers and this whole thing can take a maximum of 9999 uh, images so what i've done is i've set zero 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 and then we have it takes the four digits 
uh, or the four numbers after that, and then it takes those in order. Uh, which is why we have it set up like this. And then we have some formatting, and then we have the output file. So that's the one with, um, uh, without audio. And then we have this one, and I'll just open this just so that you can see that it is this one. The only major difference here is that we have this one, dash i untitled dot wav, and that's the audio file. And that's practically it. Uh, for, for all of it. So what I want to do is I want to do this one first, just so you can see that with this one works, uh, takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take that long. And then just click enter so that I, I can get out of the, uh, the command prompt and boom, there is no audio uh, because I, that's not something I wanted in it. And there you go. Now, if I were to, if I just delete this real quick, I mean, if you don't delete it, it, it will just ask you, like, are you sure you want to replace it? <clears throat> but I want to real quick try and, uh, and run this uh, with audio so that you can see that that also is working totally and, and fine. There you go. There's the audio. And yeah, now you have a WebM file and that, should um should it should be working totally and entirely. Um, the files that I've used here are in the description. I will be uploading them to a Google Drive, and you can download them from there. Uh, links below. Um, and yeah, I've been uh, been cracking, and I hope to see you in the next video.